Hi, my name is Phil Leach and I'm the director of the Phil based SBS and the ESBS. I'd like to welcome you to these courses. Welcome to you Phil based students and you ESBS students. It's a prayer of the staff and myself that this time you're with us in the Word will be a rich, rewarding and life changing time. Before you begin the course, I'd like us to have a, a short meditation on a verse in James. James chapter 1, verse 21. It's the second part of that verse, and this is what we read. Welcome with meekness the implanted word that has power to save your souls. Salvation, as you're probably aware, is something that Jesus has done when he died on the cross and when he cried, it is finished, the work of salvation was complete. When we place our faith in Christ, we are justified. We are made right with God and the righteousness of Christ becomes ours. But you're also aware, I'm sure, that there's a, a, an element of salvation uh, that is, is an ongoing process. No, not earning our right standing with God, but the work of the Holy Spirit bringing transformation into our lives. To quote Paul in 2 Corinthians, us being changed from one degree of glory to another. There's this element of salvation and that is what this verse is talking about because it says that as we receive with meekness the implanted word, it has power to save our souls. And it's that word that we receive that has that power. The word implanted is like the word, the word engrafted or planted. It, it's speaking of the word of God like a seed. And you know how you plant a seed and you put it in the right soil, you water it and over time it grows. And even a tree can grow, be really strong and the roots can go out and break concrete. The power of the life in that seed and that is the life in the Word of God but I want you to notice that it says we should receive with meekness the implanted Word and uh, that speaks of the kind of soil where that Word can grow so that it could bring the transformation we need to have hearts that are meek and uh, you're probably aware that meek doesn't equal weak but rather the word meek speaks of strength that's under harness. The uh, often used illustration is a horse, a wild horse with all its strength and then it's broken in. None of that strength goes but rather it's channeled in the right direction. And we are, uh, and that is meekness. And this is what this word, this scripture says. As we receive with meekness the implanted word, then it has power to save our souls. And so my exhortation to you as you begin this course is that there is a, a heart attitude where we come uh, on our knees to the word of God. Uh, not literally, of course, but... Uh, Inside, we are bowing the knee to the Word of God. We come with meekness, and then that becomes a soil where as we continue our study, that implanted Word, that living Word, can bring about the transformation that I believe we all desire in our lives. God bless you as you move on now and begin your biblical studies.